for the word? Amen. Amen. Um, my husband, Pastor John M. Jones, a man of God, a man after God. Pastor John M. Jones, was, he served in the Air Force for a couple of years, and he attended Millen Tech, USC, Gramlin, Uni State University, and Four Minister College. Amen. We did prison ministry, ministry, street ministry, hospital, and uh, many more. John Jones re read his Bible. I don't know how many times he read it, but he read the word from the front to the back. Amen. I want to introduce you, my husband, John Maurice Jones. Amen. Praise amen. God, everybody. Amen. Amen. amen, amen. It was good when they said unto me, let's go into the house of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. amen. Our scripture is going to be coming from Galatians. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. You know, it says, we ourselves are Jews by birth, by birth and not Gentile sinners, even though we were Gentile sinners at one time. But then, when we begin to trust God and to believe, we had a new birth. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We were born again. Yeah. And we were, we were grafted in into the Jews' inheritance, Lord God. Thank you for that, Lord Jesus, for, for grafting us in. Amen. Amen. Yet we know that a person is justified not by the works of the law, but through faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Like Abraham. Abraham believed God and trusted God. And God counted unto him as righteous. Amen. Amen. Yes. And if you are a seed of Abraham, and how do you become a seed of Abraham? By faith. Faith in what Jesus Christ did. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And you'll be drafted in, Lord God. And once we're drafted in, we become righteous. Not by our works, but by our faith. Yeah. And, and by our faith, it causes us to do certain things. It causes us to work. Amen. Amen. Uh, the Bible talks about John. <coughs> this is the revelation I got last night, praise Come God. On. The Amen. Bible, John always says, I am beloved mm -hmm. by God. Yeah. I am the beloved of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And God himself said, this is my beloved son. See, our love for Christ is not perfect. Our love for Christ goes up, and yeah. then it comes down. Right. And it goes up, and then it comes down. Yeah. But the love of Christ, the love of God, is continuous. Yes. Yes. It don't waver. Yes. It yes. just it goes straight across. Amen. Amen. And his love for us endure forever. Amen. 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 So <laughs> now, what I do, and what I started to do, is not proclaim my love for Christ. But I proclaim his love <coughs> for me. Amen. Amen. Because yes. God loves me. And God loves you. Yes. Yes. Amen. You, so proclaim it. Yes. Proclaim your love for God. And guess what? You'll be the last man standing. All right. Just like John was. Yes. When Jesus <laughs> went to the Christ, went to the cross, who was there? All John. Right. Yes. Where was Peter? Peter said, Lord, I won't deny you. Yes. Yes. I'll always be there. Yes. And he said this is for all the disciples. Uh -huh. He was kind of boasting, but when it came time, where was Peter? Somewhere hiding and crying. But John was there yes. because John was always confessed. Yes. God loved him. Yes. And amen? amen? So you need to confess that God loves you. You are to be loved of our Lord and Savior. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. Yeah, well. Always put your trust in him. Yeah. And that's, that, that's my biggest thing right there. Faith. Yeah. Faith in God. Okay. Amen? Amen? His faith never runs out. Mm -hmm. 
Praise God. Yes. God is good. Amen. Amen. And if you have faith in God, I'm going to tell you right now, you have nothing to worry about. Yes. yes. Amen. You have, if you just trust God, and sometimes that's hard to trust him. Amen. Amen. But always trust God. Trust in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. If you can grab hold of that, I mean, sometimes you might get a light bill notice saying your light's going to be cut off Monday morning. And here it is, Friday. You ain't got no money in the bank, and you ain't got nobody you can go and borrow. Now, I'm talking from my experience. Come on. What I do is I pray. All right. Mm -hmm. And I say, Lord, you say it. So you got to tell them, you got to, sometimes you got to remind them. All right. Come Amen. On. You say it, you supply all my needs. Yes. And you say it, whatsoever I desire, you give it to me. Yes. Well, Lord, I need my light bill paid. All right. Yes. And I ain't got nobody to go to but you. Yes. Amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. I'm going to trust yes, you. God. To do something yes. to get yes. my light bill paid. Yes. And then I go to sleep. <laughs> and I don't worry about it no more. Yes. Because, and it's hard not to worry about it, especially when you got a house full of kids and people in your house. Yes. You know, yes. but you have to put that worry That's right. to the side. Yes. Amen. Amen. And trust God. Trust and God. And I'm going to tell you right now God has never failed me. Yes. He has never fail me. Yes. Now I might fail myself, All right. but yeah. God don't fail me. Yes. Now when I fail myself, it's because I'll pick up that that worry and I'll, and I'll try to handle it myself yeah. Yeah. and I'll mess it up. Yeah. But I found out if you put your trust in Jesus, in Jesus. Yes. Glory. if you put your trust in Jesus, Jesus. he'll make it all yes. right. Yes, he will. Yes. Now this is something that we have to develop. Amen. Amen. I mean, like I love my wife. All right. Mm -hmm. But I don't put my trust in her. Okay. okay. You know? Yeah. Because she can, she can well, she 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 can fuss real good now. <laughs> She's Come a professional fussing. Come on. Amen. Amen. But you know, and sometimes she make you know, we make decisions together and sometimes I get the wrong advice. All right. But with Jesus, never. Yes. Always. Yes. You know, sometimes I just got to be quiet. That's yes. right. You got to be quiet. Yes. And listen to the spirit. Listen. You got to listen. That's yes. right. And sometimes people are gonna tell you what you're doing and what you're saying is not good. Yes. Amen. Amen. But if you put your trust in Jesus, Jesus. see with me, yes. when I hear from God, yes. something rises up in me. Yes. It rises up in me. And don't nothing deter me yes. from what I heard God say. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Like, one time I said, you know, put this person in jail. Mm -hmm. And everybody said, you going to put her in jail? I said, yeah. So, man, you, you, you supposed to be a pastor and you going to put somebody in jail? That ain't right. Then turned around. She tried to put somebody in my family in jail. Mm -hmm. I said, see that? If we had that be put in jail first, we wouldn't have went right. through this because okay. the spirit of the Lord had rose up in me right. and told me what to do. Yeah. Even though I didn't want to do it, but I had promised myself, because it's been so many times, and I'm sure you have experienced this, that when something will rise up in you and you want to do it, what that spirit told you to do, amen, but you got to recognize the voice yes. amen. of God, amen. And you got the, you got, it, and it's not easy to recognize. I remember one time I went to a, a meeting and there must have been about 200 pastors there. And they were asking us all kind of questions, all over the Brooklyn Baptist was asking all kind of questions. And then they say, any more questions? And I stood up and I said, bad. And everybody looked at me. And they said, what did you say? I said, bad. And they said, what do you mean bad? I said, I'm a sheep. Yeah. Come on. And I know Amen. my father's voice. All right. Amen. Amen. Then I told him what I had to say. All right. Amen. And see, you got to become that sheep. 
and follow Christ. Yes. Amen. Amen. And it, yes. following Christ is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Uh -huh. yes. Because you could be beheaded. You all kind of stuff can, you know, Christians today, which you know, are being persecuted. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're being persecuted in foreign countries, and they're not, they're even being persecuted in America yes. mm -hmm. today. But you got to stand. And let me tell you, the greatest thing that anybody could do to you is to kill you, okay. to take your life. That's the greatest thing. That's the ultimate thing that could, could happen to you. You know why? Because absent in the body is present with the Lord. Amen. And you know why I'm standing here? To be present with the Lord. Yes. And I'm giving you the opportunity to Amen. be present with the Lord. Yes. Amen? Amen? So keep your faith focused on Christ. Yes. Always yes. marching towards him. Yes. The, the race is not given to the swift. Yes. It's to those that endure to the end. Yes. Because yes. at the end is the prize. Yes. At the end is the crown. At the end is what you've been working for. It's what you've been striving for, to be eternally with God. Yes. Amen? Amen? And we got to keep that as our goal, to be with Christ. We are children of the Most High God. Yes, we are. Now think about that. The Most High. Yes. yes. There's you, nobody Lord. higher than Him. Yes. yes. Everything you need is in Christ yes. Jesus. Yes. You need a home, go to Christ Jesus. Yes. You need a new car, go to Christ Jesus. Yes. You need a new shoes, go to Christ Jesus. Yes. You need better kids, take them to Christ Jesus. Right. Amen? Amen? You know, because our kids don't know. <coughs> they got to be taught. That's they right. got to be tutored. Amen? Amen? Like the law tutored us and showed us the way. And now that we begin to understand the law, every day I learn a little bit more on how the law work to make us a better person. Yes. Now we Amen. know what we need to do because the law has told us what we need to do. But also, Jesus has put it in us yes. that yes. we would instinctively know right from wrong. Amen. 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 Sometimes right. we ignore the right and go to the wrong. But when you begin to get faith in Christ, you begin to say, hey, I'm going to do right. Yes. Because the reward is so much greater. Yes, yes, God yes. is so good. Yes, yes. He is so good. For those of you that don't know Christ, I ask you, in the name of Jesus, yes. to give your life to yes. him. Yes. So you can have the abundant life yes. Yes. that he's always talking about. Yes. You know, I used to always say, you know, I used to live in Lodabar. And I used to say, Lord, you know, this just ain't no abundant life to me. You know, I want the abundant life. Yes. But praise God, and I kept confessing that. Because confession is very important. Yes. I kept confessing the things that I want, and he would move me yes. out of Lodabar into the palace. Amen. Just like uh, David, not David, Jonathan, Saul grandson when he was in Lodabar and David went and got him. And David represented God and God will come and get you and he'll move you where you want to go. And that is only done by faith. Faith is so important. You know, faith will move mountains. If you say to this mountain, move, it'll move. Yes. Amen? Amen? Just, just just go crazy, crazy. Faith by like God. One time I, I I read a scripture that said, have faith in God. Yeah. Have faith in God. Yeah. And when I read that, I said, okay. I said, okay. Okay. I'm going to have faith in God. I'm just going to trust God. Amen. Amen. When I was in my afflictions with drugs and I went to Jesus and I asked Jesus to take it from me. Yeah. And I would get the desire, and I said, well, I would tell my wife, I'm going to get me some smoke. I'm going to go get high. 
And I would say a prayer. Driving the car to the George Man house, I would say a prayer. I said, Lord, they say you're a keeper. Well, if you're a keeper, you better get the keeper right now, because I'm going to get me something. And guess what? He kept me. Yes. Amen. He kept me from going over there. Yes. Amen. Amen. He kept me. God is a keeper. Yes. If you want to be kept, be kept by the Lord, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, yes. and everything. Everything. Everything that your heart desires, everything that you need yes. Amen. will yes. come to pass. Yes. Amen. Amen. You know, my, my mother used to tell me, and Belle, and her mother used to say, you know, we, we needed a car. And they would say, just go lay hands on the car and pray for it and claim it in Jesus' name. Yes. Now, that was stupid. <laughs> but cause we ain't had no money. All right. We go and we see a night. We saw a Lincoln. And we went over there and laid our hands on it and said, we claim it in the name of Jesus. Two weeks later, we got the car. Amen. 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 It was a miracle. Yes. Amen. One time, you know, we didn't have no car. And we were praying for a car. And guess what? Somebody called me on the phone and said, I heard you need a car. I said, yeah. And they said, well, I got a Volvo. And they gave us the Volvo right. and paid a year's insurance. All right. This was all because we prayed Great. and believed God That's for it. Amen. Amen. One time my yeah. wife and I, we were yeah. homeless. And we didn't we used to have to stay in our shop at our hair salon mm -hmm. and sleep in it. And then we were praying for a home. A free home with no payment. A lady walked in the shop, one of our customers, and said, You know, I got a house and I'm not staying in it and it's fully furnished and I need somebody to stay in it. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'll stay in it. And she wrote the address down and gave me a key. And for about two, three months, my wife and I, we didn't even go look at the house. And then one day I was reaching in my pocket and I pulled out the key. I said, Belle, let's go see this, what this house looks like. Completely furnished, two bedroom, washer, dryer, stove, big screen TV was in it. And we moved in that house and lived in it for a year. All we had to do was pay the light bill and the water bill. Amen. God is good. Yes, he is. God is good. Yes, he is. God, one time, God gave us a free house right there on Easter Street in Greenview, right. right across from Greenview Elementary School. No house payment. And we stayed in the house about three, four years. All we paid was water and light. Amen. God said that he'd give you home that you didn't build. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's what he said. And so take the scriptures and believe him. Have faith in God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Trust God. Because he's our provider. Yes, he and if you take anything from this message today, I pray that it be to trust God. Yes. Have crazy faith. Yes. Don't let nobody deter you from what God has in store for you. Because yes. what God has for you is for you. Yes. All you got to do is claim it. Yes. Don't go to heaven and he takes you in this back room, and there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. And you say, what is this? And he say, this is all the stuff I had for you. Amen. And you didn't claim it. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? I'm claiming everything. Everything. Everything that God has for me and my children and yes. my wife, I claim it right now Thanks. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And everything that you have, yes. and everything that you need, yes. I pray to the Lord that he would give it to you. Yes. All you got to do is clean it. Confess it in yes. Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Now those of you that don't know Christ, those of you that don't have faith in him, come up and we'll pray for you that your prayers will be answered. Amen. Amen. If you have sickness in your body, come up and we'll pray for you. Because the Bible says signs and wonders will follow those that believe. And I believe. And so signs and wonders are supposed to follow me. Yes. And they will. Yes. Let me give you one more illustration. One time we was in a service and I was preaching and I was talking about how good God is and how 
I'll be walking down the street and all of a sudden, bless him. Yeah. Would jump out and overtake me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And my daughter was saying after service, Dad, you got any money? I said, no. She said, you got any money in the bank? I said, no. I said, well, I'll take my card and see. I take my card and praise God, it was $6,000 in there. Amen. You know what I did? I heard we got that money. <laughs> Come on, Breezy. But it was six thousand dollars in here. It was a blessing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And that's the God that we serve. Yes. That's the God. He's a miracle worker. Yes, he is. But like I said, those that don't know Jesus and want to be blessed by the Most High God, you can come down now, and we'll get Pastor Gene to, to pray for you. Amen. I hope this word was inspiring to you and lifted you up and move you forward in the name of Jesus. Amen. Just now. Just now.